never get free Lamb to the slaughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water The price of your greed is your son and your daughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water Look me in my eyes Tell me everything's not fine All the people ain't happy Hey guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Now, this is What If Deku is a Sith Lord Part 8, I think. Yeah, it's Part 8. That's how it's Part 7. Very cool. Alright, where we last left off has... Izuku has crash landed as, you know, they, um... Stealth their ship as we cut... We're start this episode off into Imperial City. As that goes on, as we cut to, you know, the Emperor herself, as the Emperor is, technically the Emperor is all for one. So, you know, I'm just going to refer him to the Emperor from now on. So, it's all for one as the Emperor. As he sees footage of Izuku using his electricity, as he's like, huh, interesting. Get me in contact with Council, Council Lady Lilith. Yes, yes, my lord. As they runs off, as we cut to Lilith. After, you know, I don't know if she got off the planet yet, but she did. So I don't quite remember what I did. I don't think I killed her off because she's far more important to the story a little bit. So, as she's scaling the, the cliff with her lightsabers, as she's getting up to the ledge as she rolls over. As he's like, as she contents any units still alive yes ma'am I need a pickup now as she starts laughing and she's like <laughs> my nephew <laughs> quite the powerhouse you are and she gets up you're definitely <laughs> you're definitely a keeper as she gets picked up as they transport to her main ship as she's in her off you know in in in, in as she's walking through the ship, as all the Imperials salute her, as she walks into her her quarters, before she walks in, you two, do not uh, do not interrupt me while I'm at, while I'm in my office. Yeah, it's it's like an office. So, yes, 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 my lady. As the door closes, you know, slides close, you know, because you know Star Wars doors don't open like normal doors. They go upwards and go downwards, so, you know. As she sits, you know, down, as she's like, she got a hollow call as she answered it, as it's, um, Emperor, what can I do for you? As she, you know, gets off of her chair, as she uh, kneels down. Council Member Lilith. I would like you to return to the capital city and enlighten me in your little endeavors you've been recently been have your fingers in yes of course my emperor right away and and summon your and summon your apprentice as well yes that is all as the whole net you know chat whatever cuts as we get to ink, as you know, Lilith sits back down and she, as she's fiddling with her thing, that she's like trying to contact, you know, Toga. As, as that goes on, as we cut to a scene where Toga is, as she's in a um, repel, uh, Republic base massacring. The rest of the men that's left. As several blasters are flying past her. As they're executing 
any Republic soldiers alive. As two was grabbed towards Toga. It's like, please say, um, please don't kill us. We have a family. As he's like, huh. You, you lot always have a sad story. So I'll make you a deal. As Toga smiles. If your story moves me in any way, I'll let you live. And we'll get you ship and you get to run along out of here. But if not, then we'll have some, f then I'll have some fun. As she smiles creepily, as they tell her, tell her the story. As he's like, huh. And as Toga starts laughing, ah, nah. As she starts the slicing them up into little pieces. With her lightsaber out. She's continuing doing this. As. She finally stops. As, after she hears the holo call. As the shoulders. Uh, as one of the Imperials. Um, Lord Doga. Holo message from your master. Answer it. As she's slicing. And she's like. What can I do for you master? And she's like. Toga please stop that. Yes, Master. As she, as she turns off her lysir, put it back on her pouch, where she keeps it, on the side, on on her um, it, on it hilt, on the side of her, you know, waist. And she's like, return to, return to the capital, in post haste. Ah, oh, I was, seriously, Master. Oh, I was just a little bit having fun. Toga, now. <sighs> yes, master. And no lip. And she's like, yes, I understand, ma'am. And she, she shuts off. And she's like, all right, boys. Kill them all. As they line up all the civilians and everywhere, as several units of Imperial soldiers come out with rifles as they line up the civilians as they open fire. All you hear is the screams in the background as they does a clear quiet and Ah <sighs> Alright you I need a ship to get out of here. Master I must return to the home world. <sighs> it's gonna be so boring. As she you know gets over there as you know we cut to a scene He's on a desert planet. As you see a hooded, um, as you, no, not, sorry, not, that hasn't happened yet. Sorry, guys. As, um, we cut to a city in back alleys. As you see a hooded figure talking to some people. I got the information, what you were, what you're looking for. This is hard to get. As they exchange with credits. Imperial credits won't do. As you know, he transfers the credits as he's like, good. Thank you. Don't know what you, I don't know what you're dealing with, man. I don't want nothing part of it. Nothing to do with the Jedis. As you know, it's a list of Jedi. He's like, thanks. As he's walking down the alley, as all you see is the hood, the figure had blue hair. As several, three Jedi, Jedi Knights, fly down as they jump down, surrounding Shigar, uh, you know, oops, almost, the hooded figure, as they all nice their lifesaver. In the name of Republic and the Jedi Council, you are here under arrest. Disarmed and come peacefully, Sith. As... That's a hooded figure. I haven't done anything wrong. Jedi's. I was simply just walking on my merry way. I got some things. Ate some places. Met some of the... Met some of the lovely people here. As one of the Jedi's getting irritated. Surrender now or I'll boot you through. I'll run you through. And she's like, very well.
Jedi. As he plays one lightsaber down. As he's like... Wait. As he's like... As soon as he sets one down, as he... With his other hand from on his back, as he grabs the second lightsaber. As he does a quick slash towards the dude's neck. As the Jedi Knight blocks it. As the Hooker figure... Use the force to grab his other lightsaber was on the ground, flying towards him, igniting in it. As the other Jedi come in to a to um decapitate, you know, the hooded figure. As they ignite blades, as he's like, huh, this is a little unfair, don't you think? Jedi's? As he's as they push him back with the force, as he flies back. As he, you know, stops himself, as, you know, he's purely uh, agile. As his hood is off, sugar rocky. Forget this runner thing, man. Um, brother, we need to take him out. He's too much of a threat. He's the, he's the Emperor's Apprentice. He's on the blacklist. As they rush, you know. Shigaraki, as he's like, oh. as he's blocking them with his lightsaber, one of them, he had, as he pushes them back, as he's like, I, I, I had enough of this. As he drops his lightsabers on the ground, as he sticks his hands out, as he's like, die, as Sith Lightning comes shooting out. As it fries one of them, but the second one, that one has an issue with Shigaraki for some reason, one who's being a dick about it, runs through the Sith Lightning, just through out of pure willpower and stubbornness, rushes Shigaraki as he jumps in air, as Shigaraki forks, chokes him in midair, as he's, you know, hovering above the ground. Bastard, you die, you Sith. I swear. As he's like, sh as he hears his holocron information, you know, communicator to, com you know, the. <sighs> Give me a second. Okay, I'm not sure what it's called. I'm not sure I was naming it earlier, right? But let's just call it a communicator. Look, you know, the long range communicator starts beeping as it's a hologram of, you know, his master. Master. What can I do for you? I'm kind of busy. As he's like, Is your current mission successful? That's about, sir. Mas my master. As, you know, he's been down, but he still has a dude, you know, holding it up with the force, with one of his fingers, two of his fingers. As he's like, Good. When you're done with this, when you're done with these, when you're done with your current mission, return to the home planet immediately. I have a, I have a mission for you. Of course, master. As he cracks his neck. As he puts his hood on, as he's like, huh. Things are about to get, things are about to get busy. As he wanders off to his ship, where he parked it at the space station. As that goes on, as we cut to the scene I meant earlier, it's a desert planet. As it's dusty, as there's several, all you see is in the in the background is four bright lights. No, yeah, let's say it's um. Yeah, let's say it's four bright lights. As you have... If you have three Jedi Masters fighting the Emperor's Wrath. As... It's Dobby. The Emperor's Wrath in this one is going to be Dobby. Because... I'm giving that guy Force Fire. That's straight up, because, you know... It'll make sense with his burn skin, so let's just say that was the drawback of using that 
that kind of that kind of ability. It's not a Sith or Jedi technique, so it's something from the Todoroki line. Yeah, Dobby's is female Shoto Todoroki's, you know, older brother. So there's that. So as you see him easily, you know, just barely effortlessly blocking the the blade strikes, as he's like, you're gonna have to do a lot more better than that, Jedi. Jedi Masters. Maybe if, if you had one more. Maybe it'd be more of a challenge. But it doesn't matter. I'm bored with this. As he ignites a second lifesaver. As he effortlessly kills all three of them in quick succession. And a quick, a quick movement that seemed like it was... It was memorizing, you know, type of, you know, style that he likes to do. He likes to finesse. He likes to move fast and strike for killing blow. That's what makes him more deadly than the rest of the Sith. Because he goes for killing blows. He doesn't just flaunt his power out. He doesn't drag out a fight. He goes in and, and guts it and end of it. As his hollow communicator... Makes noise as my, you know, emperor. Oh, my wrath. I need your services post haste. Come to that. The emperor needs his wrath. Come to the capital immediately. Yes, of course, my. Yes, of course, my emperor. As there's blaster fire going towards Dobby. As there, you know, some... Some Republic people are there. This is, you know, it's not tattooing, but it's a part of a world that's a, a, a Republic world. That, you know, Dobby attacked. As like, free Sith. As they fire their blasters at him. As he, he, he oh, sorry. He directs the beams right back at him, hit him all of them in the head. As he takes their, you know, speeders and speeds off, going towards where he landed his ship. As we cut to, you know, finally we get to Izuku. Finally. I just want to get, get that information out, get all, you know, the ploy. And the name of this episode, just to, you know, just to let you guys, I really don't know yet, but I think it could be like, the episode of this, our name of this episode is, you know, The Death Squad, The Burn, oh sorry, The Birth of the Death Squad, The Hunt for Izuku, or something around there, I don't know, I'll figure it out. So, as we continue... As, you know, Azawa, you know, they're talking before they leave. As they're like, I'll be staying on the ship to make sure, you know, no lasting damage is done. We kind of landed roughly. I was having a nice nap, but... You know, there's that. Yeah, he still has his habits. And plus, um, Mina is not here. Not Mina, but um, May is not here, so... I'm the only one with the right skills for it, so I'll be doing that. You gather, you you do your stuff. Just don't try to cause more trouble than than needed. As you know, Azawa goes over to Shoto, and don't trust this. And she's like, yes, master. As you know, they might be sis, but don't, don't, don't let your guard down. Regardless of what. If you think they're your friends or not. As they, he whispers that to her. It's like, yes, master. As you know. Sorry, I need to stop saying that. As we have Cassandra, Shoto, and... And what's, this, you know, Izuku. I'm going to call him Darth Deku, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess I can do that. His, you know... He kind of would be, you know, card called Darth Deku 
but you know, let's continue that. He hasn't get to that point. He hasn't, you know, fully became, you know, a Sith Lord. He's just a Sith right now, so there's that. So as we continue, as they're walk as they're walking to, you know, the nearest city. As Deku's like, so what's the plan, sis? Ah, <sighs> yeah. In order to get an a introduction with the, with the huts. This hut, oh, sorry. This planet has one hut running everything. But it's hard to get an audience with them. So we're going to have to do some info digging. Then find out if there's any threat to the huts that they haven't been able to take out. Then do him a solid. That will definitely get his, um, get his attention. I gotta take care of some things. I gotta meet some people as she go. You gather, you know, do your part. Your job is to gather information. I'm gonna make sure, you know, I'm gonna spy on the exchange, see where they're at. As, you know, they go separate ways, as, you know, Shoto, you know, sticks close to Izuku. As Izuku's like, so how's that new slide, uh, lifesaver? Any problems with it? She's like, no, it's fine. Not really my style, but it's it will do for now. As you know, they're talking. As she shows, she's like, where do you think we should go for the information? I know. I think I know the place. Mom mentioned them. Mom mentioned in much of the teaching she did to me. To get you know juicy information, you usually have to go to a rundown place called a bar. And she's like, oh, a bar. Yeah, my father, you know, went to, the, went to them quite often with my mother before, you know, my father's death. Yeah, she looks sad. As Izuki looks at her, as, you know, he moves her chin upwards. It's like, don't worry about that. I'm sorry that I bring out any bad memories. And she's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. And she's like, you're not as angry as you were for Oh, I'm angry. I'm going to use that <laughs> to whoever gets in my way. As we cut to a bar, as there's several different races all gathered together. As they have um, arena battles playing on the background. Yeah, it's arena battle, so... It's in holograph form, so they're broadcasting it throughout the whole universe or this sector or whatever. I don't know how far the broadcast goes, but let's continue. As he sees, you know, a man dressed well nicely for this like for this place. As we have Kira Gary. As he's like Ezekiel, you know, walks up. As he's like, huh. sorry, young man, but you don't look old enough to be in here. As he's like, oh, don't worry, I'm not here to drink. I'm here to get some information if you're, if you know what I mean. As he's like, interesting. As he taps the table, taps the counter, as Izuku gives out a couple credits. All right, so what do you need? I need, an, I need any intel on the huts. Competitors, or enemies, or threats they want, you know, taken care of. Huh, you're a freelancer kid, young man? Yeah, something like that. There's a group called, huh, I don't know what the group, let's call it, um, there's a group called, not sure on the name, but they go around, no, let's call them, um, I really don't know what to call this pyre group I want to in, 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 like implement. Sorry, guys. I'll be back. Let me just rethink it. Okay. I'm just going to name him this because it's easier. It's the only first thing that popped in my head. Yeah, there's a group called... A group of pirates called the Bloody Skulls. They've been kind of raising up all hordes of hell towards, you know... The Hutt's organization on, on this planet. Thank you for the information as he hands him a couple gold bars. 
of, you know, higher grade. As he gives them, you know, higher grade um, credits. I don't know what it would be called. I really don't remember the, you know, the um, economy in Star Wars. I know there's credits, but I, I don't know if the higher form of credits, if they have like some sort of bars. Besides outside of, you know, Mandalorian bars from, you know, from that, you know, um, Disney Plus series. But let's continue. As he gets this information, as they go back to, you know, the around you, around you point, the point uh, to, you know, gather all the information they got, it's, it's a, um, it's a restaurant. It's like, you know, those little burger places. Or well, their version of it. As, as Shota and um, Izuku sit next to each other. As a couple hours later, uh, Cassandra comes in. Actually, good, brother. You're here. So what did you find? I found, uh, apparently there's a group, as he's talking quietly... There's a group called the Bloody Skulls, a pirate, you know, gang around here. Been causing, you know, the hut, the hut some trouble. I think that would be enough to, because they've been, apparently they've been, you know, I did some background on the guys. I, as me and Shoto observed some of their, op, some of their activities. They seem to sure like to mess with the huts a lot. And every bounty hunter they sent their way, they killed pretty Pretty fast. I don't know who they are, but I don't know their leader yet. Haven't got that much information yet, but that's our best bet. It's just like good. What about your insists? Yeah, the exchange are normal operations. I think what we came across was this, you know, a unit out to get extra money. So as long as we don't cause too much of a noise, they going to be an issue. As that's not going to happen at all for an end of story, but I have plans for them. All right. We're going to um, strike tonight. Izuku, I want you to strike them tonight. Are you sure? Yes. As, he, as, you know, he's going alone. As, like, Shoto's Sh like, what do you mean he's going alone? He needs to do this himself. He got the information down. Come, you know, come back to ship with me. We're going to have, you know, don't worry. As, you know, Izuku, you know, looks towards Shoto. It's like, don't, don't, don't worry, Shoto. I'll be fine. If I, anyways, we have our force bond, so... You'll be able to feel, you know, if I'm in danger. As Shoto, you know, runs over to Izuku, he's like, I don't like this one bit, but if you're in, if I sense anything, you know, I'm coming to save your ass. As, as you know, Shoto kisses on the cheek as he, he's like, doesn't know what to think about that. As that's, you know, new, as she runs off. I don't think they're together yet. I think they're just friends right now. So, there's that. I, I don't know if there's going to be more than one ship, so I really don't know. So as you know, we continue. As Izuku gets to the complex where the, the pirates are hanging out, they use this as a base of operation. So there's that. As you see several, you know, a couple walkers, imperial walkers, or, you know, running around as he's like shit walkers it had to be walkers that's going to complicate things a little bit as Izuku you know gets to sorry as the side um as the patrol goes around the base as Izuku drops down sneaks behind Sorry, sneaks are behind one of the scouts. 
that does patrol around the base. As he stabs him, as he pulls him into a bush. As he looks around to make sure no one's looking as there's no there's no guards nearby as he, you know, goes behind some crates as he sneaky as he stealths going through as several units pass pass by as one of them alone came by as Iziku stealth kills him with a lifesaver in his chest as he pulls him behind some crates as he continues going through the base. As, sorry, as uh, they had automated turrets, as they connect to, you know, they can't, um, sorry, they, um, sense Ezekiel's, you know, life signs. As they start shooting, as the alarms go off, it's like, shit, 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 shit. Boys, seems like we got an intruder. First one to kill him gets to keep his belongings. As... You hear roars of men coming down as their mixture. It's a mixture between a, a, a bunch of races. As one of them comes out with, you know, like a, a bigger version of a um, Gatling gun, but for, you know, lasers. So as he's, you know, shooting lasers out, he's a heavy set dude. As a Zuku, you know, stops the. As he's you know shoots at him, crap! I don't have enough time. Hopefully, I hopefully I could pull this off. I only did this once. As as the lasers you know come towards you know Izuku. As he gets hit on the on the like waist, as the as the you know the laser blasts from the heavy set guy, from the heavy unit, stops the mid air. Yeah, I'm pulling that because, you know, Kylo Ren move. And from um, that Vader fan film. Awesome, you know, fan film, by the way. You should check it out if you haven't. I forget who is... I forget the... I forget the channel name. I'm a subscriber, but yeah, he makes some... His... His first fan film I've ever seen of him do is pretty awesome. Well, you know, let's stop about that as we continue. As he shoots it back, killing all the men in the front as several walkers come, you know, walking through that crank noise. As they start blasting Midoriya, as Midoriya is running, he's like, shit, 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 I'm going to get out of this one. As Ezekiel jumps backwards, does a flip, lands on top of the walker. As that one walker sees him, blasts the other walker. As it falls down, as Ziku jumps off, sticks his lightsaber into the head of the walker. As he cuts, you know, as he opens the hall, throws, goes in, throws him out. As he shuts the lid, as <laughs> always one. <laughs> well, there's always a first time. He's like, I don't, huh. He's like, well, I guess they can't arrest me for not having a license. As he starts blasting, you know, the men with inside the walker he just stole. As he's blasting them, as there's explosions everywhere. As one of them comes with a, um, like a rocket launcher, hitting the walker as it falls down. As Izuku, you know, jumps out of, out of the, out of the entryway of the um, walker. I forget, I forget what they're called. I think they're walkers, I think, but I'm not totally sure on that, so. As he does that, it's like a, walkers basically, is, it has two legs and a head compartment where it shoots lasers out in the front. So if you've seen Star Wars, you kind of know what I'm talking about. More of, you know, the originals. But let's continue. As Ezekiel gets up, because he rolled after he land. As he shoots Sith lightning at the people coming in through the entrance, the entrance, as he's vaporizing them, as they all fall down dead, he wasn't really holding back. He was full on kill mode. As he's like, shit, take care of it yourself, brother. You know, yes, sis, I'll take care of it myself. As he's like, 
the slaughtering. I see a nice his lifesaver. As he goes in. He always, I like, you know, I, small pause, I personally like in uh, Old Republic games, I like having two lifesavers, so, yeah, he's going to have two lifesavers, so as he, you know, he knights his two lifesavers. Several blasts starts coming at him as he reflecting them back, killing a few of the men, rushing through, slicing them, as he finally gets to the leader after Hordes of men. And I'm not going to make this, you know, someone from UA or anything like that. This is not, you know, a generic that I could kill off. So, you know, I'm planning to implement several characters from UA into this. So don't, don't worry. So as he's like, huh, so you're the intruder thinking you have balls to come up against me. You have any idea who I am, boy? You're no older than what? 14, 15, as he's like 16 and a half, as he's like, huh, nothing personal, kid, but you got to die, as several, you know, battle, ro um, what they're called, um, give me a second, okay, sorry guys, as several battle mechs, I don't know which one to use. Just, you know, use your imagination. You know, I don't, I, yeah, let's just say just some random battle mechs. Not too advanced, but they could cause some damage to regular soldiers. But you're dealing with someone who's been trained in the forest with the cis, with the dark side and the light side. So, yeah, he's, as they're shooting at Midoriya. As Majoria ducks down, does a maneuver as he does a cross cross line running towards the robots as he pushes them back into the wall, then force grips, then instant then instantly force grips the commander of the um the leader of the um pirate group and he's floating in the air, choking. As you know, he did instantly because he was about to shoot him as he had his gun out as he drops on the ground. <sighs> You literally were going to shoot me in the back, pirates. Mother said you were your lot were worse than dirt. As he snaps his neck, as he closes his fists, as the dude's all you hear is a crack, as he falls down to the ground. As he's like, well, guess I probably should download some information, as. There's that. As he gathers intel of what future, you know, raids they had planned. Now, this is the boss of this base, but the main guy hasn't been killed yet. So, you know, they use it as a base, but um, they have like, they have several bases. So, this is like a sub base, like this, I guess it would be called. And it's not the, it's the head of this. Sorry. They're a big gang. They're a big pirate group. So each um, founder member, I guess, would have their own base and they operate. And he killed one of the founders. So, yeah, that's a big problem. So <laughs> there's that. As that goes on, as he, as he does that, as he goes through the crates, as he's like, huh. That would make a quite a big boom. As Midoriya smiles. Oh, that actually could be fun. As there's a big crates of, you know, of explosions. As he grabs one, turns it, as he flops it in a crate, as he walks out, as he... 15 minutes later, he walks distant, you know, good amount of distance away from the the base. As all you hear, everyone from the city can see the big explosions. It caught, it, yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of explosions in that um, base, so it went out like a candle. As uh, even the hut caught notice of that, 
Hell is very loud uh, and very, you know, openly, you know, look at me. I just wiped out your threat. So, you know, there's that. As easy to get to a wrong viewpoint. I just like abandoned house. As he walks through, uh, she's like, huh, guess your mission was to assess his brother. And she's like, did you literally have to blow the whole building up? As he's like, why? I thought it would be funny. As did you at least get the information? Yeah, I got some extra intel. Did you, sorry, did you at least get some intel before you blew up the whole building? As he's like, yeah, I got it right here. And she's like, grabs it, thanks. <sighs> Next time I'm going to have to have someone watch you. You're a little too unstable right now. And Shoto goes over there, are you right? And it's like, don't worry, Shoto, nothing really happened. And it's like, I saw pieces of the battle. And she's like, I saw some pieces of the battle. Like, what? I've never seen anything like I just got flashes of you, you know. And she's like, well, that's new. Shit. Well, this is going to be an issue we need to take care of. She, she's like, what do you mean? I don't want you to have flashes when I'm, you know, if you're in the middle of a battle. That's not good. I'm not saying that's not going to happen, but they're going to, you know, do some research on it because, you know, they don't know. They don't know nothing about Cork, not Cork Bonds. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting Cork name, but uh, let's continue. But four spawns. As we're going to stop it there. Yeah, we got a lot of information down, so hope you guys have a good night and day judging my time zone. So, all right, bye.